Welcome back folks, I'm just recording this straight after the previous one here. We have a new battle this game. We have a Giratina, a Garchomp, and a Kingdra, and a Houndoom on their side. And I am going with the Clef Key, Drift Blim, Lucario, and Talonflame. This is kind of my cheesy combination, but I love it so much. Basically, we start off with the Clef Key and the Drift Blim with the Talonflame and Lucario for Supers. Drift Blim's goal is to Baton Pass back to Lucario, to pop Baton Pass back to Minimize, and hopefully color defensive stats it's a, if it does get away with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this match right now, and we're going to see how this goes. This is actually quite an interesting one. I don't want to spoil this one too much. So, Ray tell tes Tesla? Ray tells te Ray te Tesla. That's a hard one to say. So he opens with the Kingdra and his Hound Doom, and I'm going to go right ahead with the Clefki and the Drift Driftlim. Driftlim is a Minimizer. Clefki goes straight ahead for the Thunder Wave on a Hound Doom. That was a mistake. I should have went straight for that uh, Light Screen in this turn. I made a terrible mistake here, and I knew, as you now see, I'm about to pay for it. James are right on the Clefki, taking it down to 14 hit points. Red card is going to set up the Hound Doom, which is unfortunate because it is already paralyzed. So I basically wasted that turn in terms of what's on the field of a night. Giratina Skyform does come out and the Blizzard is going to come right out of the finger and do so much damage and kills Clefki and feels almost half held to Drifton, which is actually a lot considering when I've that Drifton. It's a very defensive high hit point Pokemon right there. So I am going to go right for the Minimize. Now this is becoming a problem since I need to have some good battle pass into. And this is a double battle since so only four Pokemon sending right into that talent in my right with the goal of minimizing battle passing to that Lucario. Brave Guard goes right on the Giratina right here because I'm really scared of this threat. I'm trying to kill as much as I can. It does just take off over half, which means it is in KO ring for the next turn. Gir uh, Giratina is going to use Dragon Meteor on my Driplin. My Driplin takes it's like a champion. I was surprised to survive this one from a legendary Giratina Sky form. Survives all 23 hit points and drastically lowers its stats right there. However, it is unfortunate that this is going to come in and finish off the Driplin. Talonflame is able to resist that due to the fact that it is part fire type as well. Driplin does fall and it means it cannot bat past into anything, so Driplin essentially did absolutely nothing. This game has to be counted for. The Kara is going to come straight back out, and these are my last two Pokemon against his three, which is already a bit of a scare to me since I do know he has a Hondoom and that Gear to the Sky form. So I bring out Lucario right away. I go straight ahead for the Aura Sphere on the Kingdra and the Brave Bird on the Giratina. I know Giratina is in KO range, so the Brave Bird is going to get the kill right there. And the Aura Sphere going on the Kingdra will get you enough damage. This is a huge point in the game, and I do I get the damage I need to beat this Kingdra with the Aura Sphere. Mega Lucario doing a ton of damage here. The R3 goes right on the Kingdra and surely, yes it does, it takes it out in one hit with a critical hit. I was so lucky right there. I'm not sure if I would have got it otherwise. Uh, Kingdra can be very defensively. His Mega does come out. Oh, he has two Pokemon left. My bad there. His Mega comes out. This is Mega Garchomp and his Houndoom. Now, I'm scared at this point because I know he's got ground moves. He's going to kill my Lucario. My talent is going to die in one frame burn. So I go for the RNG hacks here. I go for a complete nuke on this Garchomp. I do not want to kill my Mega, Mega Lucario because it will in one turn. So I go right for the Rainbow, which is going to defeat my Talonflame, and I go for the Aura Sphere on the Garchomp. I am praying for the Paralyzed Hack for my on Hound Doom. This is my only chance to win if, if I go for the Aura Sphere and I kill this, this uh, Garchomp. However, I have one flame, so it would kill my Lucario. I focus Garchomp because I know Hound Doom is Paralyzed, and I am basically praying for that Paralyzed chance right now, and I do get it! I got the Paralyzed Hacks right here, and the Aura Sphere will take out this game, which I thought I was going to lose so hard at the start. I, got, I, I was about to get sweeped by a Kingdra. I thought this game was over, and I managed to hell hell it in there. Well done to Klefki and that red car, which actually won the game for me, and the Paralyzed Hacks, of course, and the critical hit. I was, a I was lucky this game. So I was very happy with that one. It was very entertaining to play. I would not have liked to have been the guy on the other end of that, because I know how annoying the, uh, the luck factors of the game are, but that is also how it works. You're on the wrong side of them, and you're on the right, right side of them sometimes, guys. That's probably it for today. I will try and get some more uploaded tomorrow for you. I'm basically just playing these and recording as I go. I don't want to do live recordings, because some players do wait for the battle time to go all the way down to zero before they actually make their move, which is quite annoying. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you tomorrow for some more battles, and I'll see you then.